before you start your makeup application, you should wash your hands with either a hand sanitizer or just normally wash your hands with soap. Next, you should sanitize your palettes. For example, I'll be using the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. To sanitize them, you would take a tissue and just wipe over the product just to get rid of what built product left on. To sanitize lipsticks, the best way to use is your metal palette. Take your lipstick and just apply some to the end. Just apply as much as you need. To sanitize your brushes, you can always use a brush cleaner. My brushes have been cleaned beforehand, but I'll just show you that they are already being cleaned on a dry tissue. To sanitize your palettes, like your Steel Makeup palette, you should always use a methylated spirits. Mine has already been cleaned beforehand, but you should always spray that down and then wipe down with the tissue. The first product that I'll be demonstrating is the MAC Soft and Gentle in CB5. The purpose of this is a highlighter. It is to give a natural glow to the skin. The main ingredients in this product is isopropyl meristate and diprothcone. This helps the product to have a wonderful silky feel and it gives the skin a soft and smooth appearance. The next product that I will be showing is the liquid lipstick from Stila. It is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. So firstly, I'm just going to get the product onto a cotton tip and I'm just going to apply it directly down the skin. This is a liquid lipstick and it is meant to give a nice natural matte finish after the application. It is meant to stay on all day due to the two main ingredients which are Iris docking and kaolin. This helps minimize color transfer. Iris Doctine helps minimize color transfer and blends itself into a lightweight and matte finish. Kaolin gives a liquid the nice matte finish and has a luxurious matte look. Both these ingredients help the product to stay on and keep the colour very visible and it helps it feel nice without it drying out. The last product I will be reviewing is the James Charles palette. This palette is very pigmented and the colours stay very vibrant. The two main ingredients is Mylac and talc. Mylac helps reflect the light from the face because the shimmer and talc exudes all the moisture to keep the skin looking dry and helps prevent any rashes. These ingredients help the product to stay on while leaving the colour vibrant and it also helps it to feel nice and light while helping it stay on and blendable and easy to apply. So the first product I'm going to use is the MAC highlighter. And I'm just going to use a little highlighting brush. I'm going to dip it in, tap off the excess, 
look to the side and try and find where the natural light hits my face. And I'm just going to apply that in circle motions. I'm just going to do that to the other side. Next, I'm just going to take a clean little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to dip in to the James Charles palette and I'm just going to take this nice light pink shade down here and I'm just going to put that into my crease. Today's look would just be a nice natural. I'm going to lean my head back and just put that right in the crease and just above. Other side. So the eyes have already been lightly primed with an eyeshadow primer. The James Charles palette works very well with an eyeshadow primer or with nothing at all. It doesn't apparently doesn't work too well with a concealer. And then I'm just going to get a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to dip into a shimmery shade. I'll dip into this nice light pink shade up here and I'm just going to apply that on the lid. Next, I'm just going to grab that little eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush, dip back into the light shade and just blend that on the outer end. Same to the other side. And then lastly, I'm just going to do my lips. So I'm just going to put it back onto the metal plate. And I'm just going to lightly brush over my lips And this is the completed look.